And welcome everybody to the essentials part of lighting uh, of the Project 52. This is the project52.org group, and we are doing a uh, review here of images. We've only got six people here tonight. I was hoping for more than that, but hey, we'll move on. I need to find TZ because he is calling in from somewhere where it's like wee hours of the morning. By the way, is anyone else on? Please put it in your um, questions. If anyone else is here from uh, and you're staying up and it's 3 o'clock in the morning like it is where TZ is, let me know. I'll get your image done first. And uh, then if you need to um, or if you fall asleep or you need to leave, you will have had a chance to at least uh, chat with me. So let me know if you're like TZ somewhere over in Portugal or um, England or wherever that is, we'll bring you up. All right, TZ, this is a uh, um, they shoot a shoe with a lot of texture in it and a nice uh, clean background. This is nicely done with the um, almost a zero edge to it. You see a little bit of an edge over here, and I, I like where you put the um, horizon too. I think it's important to have the boot come above it. It gives more shape to the boot for sure. Uh, we got a, it looks like a nice light from this side, kind of a hard light with the, with the small shadow that's showing us texture. We've also got something from this side. Um, TZ, how did you like this? This is obviously opposing lights, right? Yes, it, it's a softbox from the uh, right. Mm -hmm. And then all bare flash from the left behind the boot. Almost okay. behind the boot. Right. And in front of the boot, I placed uh, a thin foil. That's for this the, right here? Yes, yes. To mm -hmm. highlight a bit the, the front of the boot. Okay. And um, a black, black glass in the, um, as a, a, a stand. Yeah, black plexi leading up to a white wall or a gray wall or what? Um, yes, it's a gray background. Okay, uh, with a spray light on it. Yes. Yeah, uh, I like that, uh, and I th I think it's very what you you've done is you've made a hero out of an old shoe. And I'm glad you don't feel the smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a pair of old shoes like that. Um, I like I like your texture. I love the way you capture this right under here. This really works, and of course we get all the knots in here. I want you to just, what I want you to do on this shot is I just want you to squint at it for a second because I want to show you something that I think we need to be aware of on this shot, all right? Just kind of squint at it. And notice that we have a dark area that runs right down the middle of this shoe. You see that? Yes. That I don't want to see. That, I we've lost our edge here and it's disappointing. I'm talking, you know, I'm talking in uh, in metaphor here. You know, I'm not disappointed in your shot. I'm saying it, it. We have this texture here, and we lose it here. And I just know there's all kinds of fun stuff happening here because I can see it up in here. So I think we need one more. I think we needed one more card right next to the camera so that we still see the texture on this lace here, but we don't let this part of the lace go too dark. And it's there. It's like this is reflecting. This is probably TZ standing there in a black shirt, right? Uh, maybe yes. <laughs> With a name like TZ Santos, you got to wear a lot of black shirts. Come on, I wear black shirts. Uh, no, I don't. I used to, but now I don't anymore. Uh, in, in TZ, it's uh, a nickname from Toze. Ah. Okay, so it's the joint of two names, Antonio, E, and um, José, José. Uh-huh, okay. Well, it's, it's, a great, it's a great stage name. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Works well. I love this texture down here and the, and the reflection and everything. I, I think this is a um, this well-done shot. Just when you're when you're doing a and it's not just this, but anytime you're doing opposing lights with a lot of texture, double check that area in between the lights because if we if we're getting them to the most uh, oppositional sides to get the most texture, 
chances are we're going to miss that little stripe right down the middle. And, um, and uh, that, that can be um, something that, that we miss, and we really miss having that texture. I can see a little bit of it in here when I close my, my shades uh, and, and make the, the room a little bit darker. I haven't lost it all. I think I should have had those shades closed. But I'd love to see a little more. Do you agree? Yes, I yeah. do. Thanks. Now that you mention it, I do agree. Yeah. Good. All right. Uh, anybody else on here? Uh, master mute. All right. Red, ready to go. Okay. Let's get down here. No one else needs to have a review quickly. All right. We'll just move up real top here. And we're looking at F11. And F11, I don't know how you lit it. Uh, uh, I, I see a diagram down here. I'm not really sure the diagram gives me all the information, but I think it does a pretty good job. The only question I, I have is I'm seeing in, in your diagram, I'm seeing this, the softbox here, but I'm not seeing the softbox on the shot here. The shot looks to me like, like just one light coming across the front of these. So, I mean, even in the buckles here, where I think I would see this soft box. I mean, I think I should see it there in the buckles. I'm not seeing it. So uh, I don't I don't know exactly how much um, ambient you were doing with that. But this is uh this uh this is this is uh this looks pretty good. It certainly shows the texture of the gloves and the boots. One light will do that. Um, more the more lights we add, the less texture we get, unless we're very very careful with how we add those. Thanks for the uh, behind the scenes shot there. I like that. Uh, Danielle Jafare, well, there's some texture for us. Uh, really pretty light, Danielle. Um, is it Danielle or Danielle? Danielle. Uh, really pretty light there, Danielle. This uh, this texture shows up great. My question is. To you is why does it get dark up here, and should it get dark up there? My my guess is no, it shouldn't get dark up there because there's no reason for it to get dark up there. It's uh, got all this great lines and textures and highlights going on down here. And then we get up here and we just kind of just kind of fades off. I'm wondering if some kind of reflector, maybe not a white reflector, maybe a very bright reflector, very something specularly a specular type of reflection like a mirror or a uh, uh, bright shiny silver or bright shiny um, could have been brought in to really pull that texture out. John Mather, not sure if this is any good. Hmm. Well, we got some texture there, John. We do indeed. I, I, I just wonder, I wonder if we have too much light though because the uh, while we're seeing the texture, we're not getting the, the full force of the texture. We're lighting, um, we've lit it from both sides or from all around or something. Uh, and we can certainly see the uh, texture on the, of the, uh, the little things coming out, but we're not getting the fuzziness factor that we would if we had one light. And also back here, we don't have any texture in this and I know there's texture. Uh, is it a good shot? Yeah, it's an all right shot. Uh, it doesn't show the texture as well as it could, uh, no, I think we need to do a little bit more with it. I do like the black background and removing the context. That's kind of cool, but just a little bit more with that, that image to pull out the texture, uh, a bunch. Cadence Rose, I've got no picture here. Cadence, I'm going to bring you up here. Cadence, are you there? Um, I can, I am here. Yes. Yep. For some reason, Lightroom has been importing pictures without me telling it to. So you're going to have to just refresh. Okay. I threw it back in there. I don't oh, know why did? it's been doing that. It's it's uh, it's uh back in? But, but. All right. Hold on. I'm going to refresh, and we'll see if we break yeah. it. I just threw it right and back here in. Here we go. So this is um, this natural light coming through a garage door. Um, one of my yep. favorite, It's one of my favorite lights, by the way. It really is. <laughs> down at the studio, and my my uh, studio partner is always laughing at me. He's going, "You got the entire studio here with all these lights, and you're in the back with the garage door open." I'm going, "Yeah, I love the light, man. It's just cool." 
Um, and that really shows. That That's exactly what I did. Say it again. Go ahead. Oh, that's exactly what I did. I had the garage door open, and it just it highlighted the texture of the way the wood was cut so nicely. It was just like, how could I not take this picture? And one of the reasons it does – now, where's the light? It's to our right. Are we looking sideways at yep. the lights to the right? So what happens in a, in a garage is it's a big tunnel. So the farther back mm -hmm. we go in the garage, the darker it gets, right? And it's the light against the reflection of the dark background. You know, this is reflecting that back wall that's over here somewhere. And that's why mm -hmm. we get that dark and the highlights. Yeah, it really does a nice job. Um, very uh, interesting work on the background, too. Now, is this Photoshop uh, softness or is this uh, what, what you shot it? This is as shot. All I did was play with the exposure on Lightroom. Okay. I don't know how to use Photoshop yet. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, very nice. It's a nicely done shot. Good composition. Let's see. I'm trying to find Thank something you. that... I that... wasn't sure whether the fact that it looks kind of like Pac-Man was distracting or not. Because somebody mentioned that to me after I took the photo that it looked a lot like Pac-Man. And all you need to do is look back at them and say, well, you're certainly showing your age. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole lot of people under 25 <laughs> that don't know what the hell Pac-Man is. <laughs> I I kind of I don't think it's I don't think it's a problem. I didn't see Pac Man actually. Uh, I saw that hole there, and I just wondered what that oh, was. Oh, good. About. That was kind of an, a mysterious um, little addition to it um, that I liked, and I like it. Yeah, I contemplated whether I should like heal it, but I wasn't sure that it would, with all of what was going on in the photo, whether I could heal it without having it look. Like I healed it. Yeah, you know, and sometimes it's the little flaws that make the shot. You know, the, the little crack here in the in mm -hmm. the wood, and the crack down here, and this this one over here. This helps make the shot, and then the hole becomes this really kind of mysterious thing. Um, I I would if if you had said, <laughs> uh, I'm photographed it because the hole was so cool. I would have believed it. I mean, because that's what I that's the first thing I saw. So excellent, good job. Okay. If you're not Thank chatting, you. if you're not chatting, please hit your mute button. Thank you very much, Cadence. Uh, who else is not muted? Somebody else is not muted. No, I guess we are muted. All right. Good, good. Hanson. Hanson M. Um, beautiful little uh, still life here, Hanson. And what a what, hmm, I love the the. Um, the texture down here, everything, something about the composition is just not working for me. I, and I know where you wanted to go with it. I can feel that you wanted to go, go with this kind of, it's very dramatically flat in the, in the subjects. I mean, we, everything's in one plane here and that works really kind of a really well kind of to create that kind of modern image. And I kind of like it. I don't know if it's working in here for me. Uh, we didn't bring anything down to this one, to this layer here, to tie it with this one. And maybe we should. Maybe we need a couple of little grapes down in here somewhere to tie this whole thing together. But it's not. Um, it, it's it's close. It's really close, but I don't feel it's there yet. Um, here's some good texture, too, Hanson. I don't know what that is. It's a oh, it's a mineral. Okay. Uh, I like your your I like your um oh goodness what in the world's going on there sorry about that um crazy max uh, I yeah I like the other one better the the tabletop is better this is a, a nice texture shot but the table shot tabletop shows a lot more work and I appreciate that mini hens mini hessel uh, yarn all kinds of yarn great uh, little uh, shot of the box of yarn here we do have texture in the yarn i'm wondering how we could have seen more because i do think we could have seen more here for sure and that is to is somehow to get some hard light coming across here um that hard light like a bare speed light or a, a bare flash or something uh a, a couple of grids 
to rake across it would have shown us more texture, but I can't argue with this uh, being textured. Nicely done. It almost looked like four separate shots there. They're so tightly compressed uh, in there. And then you realize that there's wood here. And the way you realize it, of course, is is this great little little moments like this where the, the yarn goes across the wood and it busts out of their little boxes. Dwayne Middlebrook. I just saw Dwayne on here a minute ago. I don't know why he's not bad. We're not there. He was here. He's gone. Dwayne, uh, lovely shot with the uh, texture. Very nicely done. Uh, I wish I knew how you did it. Did you put your stuff in? Oh, darn. darn. Um, looks like we've got a couple different light sources. I got something coming from back here. I got something coming up here. Whether it's a fill card or a mirror or a shiny board, I can't tell. But we really, really do see the texture here. That's the light against the dark right here. All the little lights and shadows that are being casted every, cast everywhere. Uh, the furrowed brow, everything. Uh, I like it. And the, using the, um, um, the natural fall off from the lens, the shallow depth of field, really pulls the face up and away. Uh, very nice. Uh, how did that happen here? I'm going to unmute Cadence and she can remute in case I need to bring her back in. You can just hit your mute button there, Cadence. I don't know why you got totally muted there. That's weird. Uh, that's that's very good. The feather, yep, that's that's nice. I like the face shot better. Carpenter's Pouch from RG RJG329. Um, R, I'll just call you RJ. RJ, this is a very nicely done shot. It's got a real modern feel to it. Uh, got look, looks like we've got some real poppy lights to both sides. I've got um, poppy light coming in this way. And what I'm saying by poppy light, it doesn't feel like it's a big soft box. It feels like it's uh, a, maybe a small soft box that's coming in from this side because we've got this very nice highlight right along here. We've got kind of a nice little sharp shadow here. Uh, we've got some highlights coming in here, look like different types of fill cards or silver cards. And we most definitely have a light coming over here, a nice bright light to give us these edges and textures right in here. Uh, nicely done shot there. Uh, oh, we got, here we go, Sign, uh, softbox 90 degrees, camera left, uh, quarter uh, inch of softbox above table, bare speed light, camera right. Okay, that's this one over here. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll bet you this softbox on this side is, is small. It does not look like a large softbox. Uh, very good. Fantastic. Roy Bandera. Hey, Roy, I'm glad you're back. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, so we got the Diana in the pile of stuff there. We got the first shot here that um, I don't think really tells the story. Uh, but now we get to how he, this is done. I love how, how you did this, Roy. Thank you for taking the time. That's really nice. It's very helpful to everybody here to see how you did it. We get down to the final shot and we can see what Roy did here. We can see the effect of this shiny board right into the side. And we can see the effect of this one into the side of this. Um, large reflectors all the way around, giving this whole thing kind of a nice, uh, eerie um, light from everywhere shot. And what we end up with is a really beautiful photograph. And you can see from the setup how hard Roy worked to get to this picture. Um, Work quite hard to get here, and it shows. The work shows in the picture. Ha, texture, texture, even texture in the smooth area. All of this is lit up. We've got the light on the glass, so we've got all this texture that it's sitting in uh, as well. So very well done. Um, Dwayne, don't let me forget. I'll come back to you. We missed your you missed your uh, review, which was quite nice. And I'll come back and. Uh, chat with you about it. So let me get through these first. And uh, we wonder, I thought I saw you here and then you were gone. Thad G says, uh, his shadows texture leaves and petals against black. When you use a solid background, whether it's black or white or gray or whatever, you remove context. And when you remove context, it's absolutely perfect right in here. It absolutely 
shows the context as best as we possibly uh, could imagine doing it because the uh, the lack of any texture all the way around just helps set the texture of the flowers off. Okay, not a bad shot. Uh, Tammy. Tammy is shooting a very small part of, of a little tree here. She's shooting it outside. And she's using her strobe on a gorilla pod and using two lights, essentially. One light is the sun coming in here, and one light is the speed light, the fill on this side. And what that does is it does give us some nice texture here. It doesn't give us the um, uh, huge amount of texture that the single light does, as you can see down here in this shot here. But that's okay uh, because we haven't lost the texture of this. We're actually seeing more of it. The light, the main light of the sun coming in, and just that being all, we would we've only seen texture on the side, and then this would have gone to shadow. Um, so as it is, we're seeing plenty of uh, uh, texture there. Tammy shot. Tracy Sutherland. Chair detail. Tracy, that's very clever. It's really well done too. Who else is on here? Nope, just just the six. Uh, I like your it, – it, it, you can't even tell what it is when you first look at it, Tracy, and I, I like that. The um, – if you didn't – if I didn't know it was a chair from your, de from your um, uh, description, I wouldn't have a clue what it is. Using the sharp textures against the soft textures gives it a lot of depth. And then to have this little hot spot right in the middle here, uh, you all can see how we've got – light coming from all like a lot of different directions we've got light coming from the back and giving us these edges here looks like we've got a nice sharp light right in here uh i mean a, a nice uh, like soft box some sort of something maybe a grid giving us a highlight right along these edges here and then because of the negative bounce the black around it we get a tremendous amount of texture Nice modern shot. And look at that. Cool. Nick. Legacy shots. Very nice. But I think the top one shows texture. I think the, the bottom one shows even more texture. We've got adding a lot of texture in the post processing as well. Um, kind of cool. These are nice shots, Nick. Very nice. Uh, J-Pod, usual garage door. Uh-huh. Okay. So he's using a flash on a garage door. I like that. I like the fact that you took something out and made it. And made it your own. It's like, thank you for the ambient soft light there, Mr. Cloud. We're going to come in and do something a little bit different. And you did. We picked up all kinds of texture in here and the texture is created of course by the highlight of the strobe and the shadow uh, resulting uh, from that hard strobe so pretty cool what did he do here it's like a hard held light okay yeah i think the shadow helps balance it off as well darn good shot there jpod um i hope i pronounced that right boy that Get in trouble if you mispronounce that one. Lola, Lily. Wow, Lily, this is gorgeous. Oh, and she just arrived. Just in time. Until she comes on here. Lily, this is just a beautiful photograph. Look at all this texture. And even though we're using a lot of light here, we got light all around, we're still getting all the texture. So let me unmute you. Hi, Lily, how are you? Hold on. There we go. Hi, I'm Lily. good. How are you? Very I'm... good. This is really beautifully done. Um, you've got more than one light going on here, don't you? Oh, there's your, there's your, I just saw your thing down here. No, I guess you don't. You've got one main light and then a huge fill. Are you there? Oh. My thing keeps muting people. I didn't mute you. So, are you back? Uh-oh. 
There you go. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. Um, I, I muted you and then it just kind of muted you again. Weird. Um, yeah, so I, I see your big uh, softbox on the right. And very big white card and, and how you're bringing it over the top here. Um, well, is, is I actually held that, that. Dark area that was in the middle. Uh huh. Okay, I hand held that whiteboard so it was kind of more at an angle to provide that fill because I was watching it through my lens as I uh, held it. So I, I don't know what position it eventually ended up with, but it was, it was, was much closer to your continuous light than it is now. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah it you was. Practically tinted it is what it looks like. Because if you had left it right oh. here where it is, we would probably have a dark area running right through the top of this thing, where this shiny oh. wet board would have been reflecting the background or the ceiling or something and not been as bright. So the more you brought it over the top, the more you close that gap. It may still be there as a little bit, because I love, if you look at the, the uh, little beads of water you see a little black edge on them you see that right that black edge is a reflection of something that's happening around it probably this black card right that we have here and that gives us the shape and texture of that water droplet um, and we need all of that when we're doing these shots we need everything if you're doing um, shots of texture and the client wants texture you got to get texture in everything you can't just try to get it on one part you're getting it everywhere that's a really nice shot, Lily Dale. Thank you. Good job. And thanks for your wonderful um, behind the scenes here, because that really helps. Helps everybody learn. Damien Powell, we got a mushroom. And look at that. Big light, big bright unmodified light coming right down over the top of that mushroom excellent job Damien that's that's a, almost a perfect shot here has it got anything going on this oh it's a grid it's got a grid on it right do, 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 do. one quarter okay Okay, doesn't say yes. Wow, beautifully done. Great, great job. Great job. Absolutely, Damien. Absolutely top notch work. Thank you. Um these little sketches down here, these this this last one here is just stunning. So excellent. Just top notch. Thank you, Damien, very much. Linksja got an old picture of a tree. Okay, well I'm glad you're here, Linksja. We got an old picture of a picture of an old part of a tree. We've got a lot of texture in here, but we're losing it back here. And what I'd like to see you do, um, we're going to concentrate on getting this to look good here. Let's concentrate, and then once this looks good, let's make the back of it looks good. Look good. And all we needed was a couple of cards. I think would would be pretty cool in here uh, and we don't know what this is so I e either identify it with light or kill it with dark dark cards and and uh, let it go away it's too bright to be uh, ignored uh, and it's not dark enough to go away so we need to get this lit up in here this looks pretty good good job there linksja and we have cam cleat do 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 okay single snooted speed light to camera left a very thin about one inch wide strip of typing paper held camera right to define that side and you certainly did it um we got the texture and can read the type across the top i really love how the texture works here and uh we didn't need to see this i know some people are going to go wow well, it's went black here that's you know we didn't need to because it's the same texture on both sides that little piece of typing paper really made the difference over here. Now, compositionally, we've got a lot of black space that I don't know what it's for up here. I'm just wondering if we couldn't come in a little bit tighter and giving us more texture and less space. We don't know what it's for. 
it's uh, it doesn't seem to serve a purpose for that shot. Um, Oakley's photos, Oakley's photos. Okay. Um, struggle to find the subject, but you found the subject, Oakley's. These, this is very clever subject here. We got texture everywhere, including the smooth texture of the little bowl or something that they're sitting in. So we've got this medium texture, a very rough texture, a smooth texture, and a soft texture. So everything is in here, including uh, a very uh, almost glossy texture to the uh, to the little uh, flat, uh, semi-flat bowl. That looks great. Nicely done. How did we do that? How do we do the shot here? Do do do. Uh, try an overlay ball, section balls overlay. Magnify use the macro close so it couldn't make it look right. Still can't seem to get your sense you get. Yes, yes, yes. More camera time. Um, absolutely more camera time. And don't worry about Photoshop yet. Let's try to get it in the camera. Get all this texture in the camera. And we use Photoshop to tweak it instead of Photoshop to make it. Very good job. Nicholas Bossard, corks from Burgundy Wines. Lighting comes from candles only. Ah, the joy of high ISO. Eight seconds, F11. Nice. Uh, we definitely have uh, texture here. And using the candles, our candles are small point source lighting. Uh, so they're definitely going to give you a great texture feeling. A little hard to control candles. Uh, I think you did a pretty good job here. A um, little hard to control candles, and sometimes bouncing candlelight doesn't really work. This goes a little bit dark up here. This goes a little bit dark in here. Uh, at this point, it's already shot. Let's do let's do Lightroom to get that back up, or Camera Raw, whichever one you want to do. Let's just get this this back up because it it shows us a little bit of of uh, where the type of light that you used wasn't up to the to the task totally. It does give us texture, but it also is so small as a point source that it can hide texture. Uh, GKMB, a stub. I don't know what a stub is. Maybe it's supposed to be a stump, or is that what it is? I don't know what that is. There's a lot of texture there, GKMB. Um, I don't know what it is to, to make a guess of the texture, so this is either something very close or an alien landscape from Mars. Um, probably which is what they used to use for the movies. Uh, nice. It's nicely done. I wish I knew how you shot it, GKMB. Um, but uh, there's certainly texture there. Absolutely. Ah, Christine. All right. We got the, the two of these two. I'm going to go with this one, Chris. I like this one much better. We've got the texture in the old guitar, beautifully done, but we also have the textures in the fingers. I wish we had another light in here so that the, the front of this guitar didn't just appear flat. Now, <clears throat> it's, it seems so flat that we've lost some of the magic of it. We really needed to get something else to light these this hand it up a little bit as it went under so we could see where the guitar ended and the background became, let the hand define it. Uh, and I, again, I think this is probably when we need a, um, um, let's see, behind a white wall behind the camera, touch of fill on this side, but we're not getting it on this side. This is where we need that white card. Absolutely need that white card. And Blue Rock Creative has a photograph here. It looks like it's from archives. Yes, it is from the archives. Uh, there's certainly texture there, Blue Rock. Absolutely, uh, there is. I want to. I want to um, uh, uh, congratulate all of you new folks who uh, are on here. So fantastic to have you here. I'd love it if you would make the uh, the workshop, the webinars, if you can can't well i understand that too um we get to know each other if you do the webinars and we can chat more thank you for um putting that in i think it's uh 
Certainly got a lot of texture to it. Back side lit coming across that rust. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's get back up here to Dwayne Middlebrook. Dwayne, how are you? I'm doing fine. All right. So where's your shot? There we go. Yeah, we, I like this shot a lot. You're using uh, really nice texture on his face. And what makes him even look sharper and with more texture is the soft background that uh, that you use here. Is this um, a long lens open up a bit? Uh, no, I was standing just a few feet away from him with a 50 millimeter lens. Okay, well, 50 millimeter. Uh, well, after, after a few seconds, he forgot about me. And he's reacting to the swimmers. Right. And you're you're just you're real close with the 50. So that's going to do the same thing as a yes. long lens. The closer you are, the yes. less uh, depth of field. Do you remember your aperture setting? I think it was around F4. Yep. Okay. Now, sunlight over here? Yes. And what's 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 our fill here? Natural fill from the pool or pool decking? Uh, yeah, yes, natural fill. He's standing next to the pool, so there is light coming off of the water on him. Yep. Okay. And the background is just greenery, which I darkened down in Photoshop. Well, that was a good call too, because the the darker and softer the background is, the more texture we see. Every hair. Uh, every little furrowed brow really really helps carry it off. Nicely done, Dwayne. Thank you. So we are now at the end of the the um, back on again and master mute. I don't know what's going on with your computer there, Brett. Um, let's see. Um, all right, so we've got the review of the images. And we still have some time. So questions. Anybody at all have any questions? Hey, Don, you're going to meet us in New Mexico? Uh, and that's coming up when? The 13th? Of June, of June, right? Of July, right? Right. I am still working on it, Lily. Right now, um, that's the week that we're supposed to go on vacation. I don't know if we're going to be able to go on vacation, which is because of a gig um, oh. but uh, and if we can't go on vacation then I'll, then I then I think I'm going to try to meet you guys over there oh I hope you can it's the 13th and 14th yep and we're going to be at Silver City um T or C what's T or C truth or consequences oh that's right that's right yeah <laughs> all right well that's not too far from Silver City is it um, I'm trying to remember where Silver City is on the map. On I don't the map, think it is. it's I mean, only about an inch down. Looks like it's about 40 miles away. There you go. Yeah, cool. You can do it, Don. <laughs> Who else is going to be there? My sister's going. I've got a friend who's going to hang out with us, um, and, and we've talked her into modeling. And then I've got two other guy friends that are going to meet us there. Um, nice. And... So about four or five of us. Excellent. Well, I will I will let you know in plenty of time. Okay. If I can, if I can swing it. it, might be um, my wife having this surgery on her foot uh, just doesn't doesn't look like uh, she's still in so much pain now that uh, you know that's only two weeks away and uh, I don't think she's gonna be able to go anywhere. So it might be just me and my daughter joining you. Oh. So, that'd be great. Yeah, it'd be fun. And we'll let mom just kind of hang here and relax. So cool. So anybody else? If you're muted, let me know. Bob White, uh fun checking with Bob. <laughs> Bobby, try it again there, Bob. There you are, Bob. No picture this time? Yes, sir. Uh Blue Rock is my business name so oh okay and, and which one that was way that was the the old truck at the very bottom last one ah okay 
So this is your first time then, huh? Yes, it is. All right. So uh, what's the next assignment, guys? What do I do for the next one? Who knows? Nobody knows what the next assignment is. Oh, let's see. Isn't the next one we're, uh, we're doing full it. spread? Environmental portrait. Environmental nope. portrait. Yeah, the spread, magazine spread, environmental portrait. Fantastic. Anybody have any questions about that, Bob? You all, you kind of get that idea? Yeah, I have a, a pretty good handle on that. So Sounds good. Looking forward to actually being able to get out and shoot. Yeah, I'll tell you. I'd what. love a little bit more explanation on that assignment if you'd be willing to go into it. Sure. Who is this? That was Cadence. Oh, Cadence. Um, sure. What would you like to know? I guess I'm not I'm not really familiar with the idea of environmental portraits, so I guess I'm I'm sort of trying to grasp what you're looking for specifically, or some examples that I could look at. Um, did you go to the page? I did, and I, I, I looked at the one that you have up, and then I've been looking at what people have posted, and there's a couple more. Um, so it sort of just looks like a portrait of somebody in situ, so it could be, I guess environmental made me wonder whether it had to be like work-related or whether it could just be, no. you An know. environmental portrait usually means that the environment that the, the, photog that the subject is in, the place where they are, relates to them somehow. It's not, um, and that's what I wanted to get people to understand. It has to kind of relate to them. There's a, a like senior portraits where they'll take the uh, girl out and stand her by a warehouse. Um, <laughs> that, to me, that's a location portrait. The, the environment uh, is is not really important. Another a situation that that doesn't work is if you're doing somebody out and you found a really cool. Uh, area to shoot them in, and then you shoot them with a 300 2.8 at 2.8, and, and the background's just this blur, like we just saw with uh, um, Dwayne's shot. Well, that's not really an environmental portrait because we don't see the environment. We've dropped it out of focus. So ah. the, the, the place where the subject is has to relate to the subject, and we need to see that um, with, the, with the subject. Um, an environmental portrait is generally never done in the studio for obvious reasons. However, you probably sure. could make a case for, you know, back in the day when we used to build sets in the, uh, in the studio. Do you remember, mm -hmm. um, Kings, do you got, does anybody remember uh, uh, Bartles and James um, wine? Any of you guys remember? The wine coolers? Of course. The, remember the two old guys sitting on the porch? I think so, vaguely. Yeah. Well, I, I helped build that. That was actually built in a set. Oh, wow. So it wasn't um, it, it wasn't a, uh, you know, they didn't go out and find a little farmhouse somewhere. That was actually built in uh, Reed Miles' studio. And uh, complete with, a, with trees and about two feet of sod and grass and everything else it took almost a week to build that set and then they shot a bunch of uh tv commercials in there as well as the stills so i guess that could be made you know that was kind of a definitely an environmental portrait even though it was done in a studio but uh these days uh, i'm not asking you to do that if you have to spend i I'm, i really want to keep people if you have to spend more than fifty thousand dollars on the set don't do it it really uh <laughs> Sounds like a good rule of thumb. Yeah, I, and I, I know, I know, I've just disappointed Brett Doss. He's just going, oh, oh. Brett was going to get one of those uh, new Dreamliners from Boeing up there and just kind of bring it down to the house. <laughs> now I got to go to Plan B. Plan B, Brett. Plan B. Um, but yeah, that's. Does that help, Cadence? That and that helps a lot. Thank okay. you. Just talking about even the background was like, oh, I wouldn't have contemplated that. And that's a big deal. Good. Excellent. Thank you. Good, good. I hope that helps everybody um, figure out what they're, they're going to do and hope that, uh, that we get more people. Dang it. Let everybody know on the forum, like, why, why, guys, why aren't you coming to this thing? It's, it's the highlight of my week is to chat with everybody. So. I'm glad I had you guys. Fantastic. 
It is, uh, doesn't look like there's any more questions. So if there aren't, I'll just let everyone go and enjoy the rest of their Wednesday evening. And I'll go have my uh, homemade taco salad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm really looking forward to it. I was just, I finished making it just before the show and I was like, oh, maybe I could be 20 minutes late. Nah, I can't do that. <laughs> Hey, I've got about five days before I'm totally submerged in Mexican food again. Um, I'm excited. Well, you know how that works for me, right? Oh. I'm still totally immersed in Mexican food. <laughs> Except this weekend in Fredericksburg, we ended up going to Irish pubs like three times. I'm like, oh, wow. what's up with Irish pubs in Virginia? It makes no sense to me. Virginia has barbecue. You know what Virginia doesn't have, though, Lily? What? Good Mexican food. Oh, my gosh, Don. You're not kidding. Nobody trust, up here does. Trust me on this. They took me to, like, the best Mexican food restaurant there, and I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding. <laughs> Isn't yeah. there a Del Taco close? <laughs> you know, they have, Taco Bell. they have green enchiladas down here or up here. Uh-huh. And the first time I tasted them, I gagged so bad because yeah. they're not green chili enchiladas. They're tomatillo sauce enchiladas. Yeah. And they're gross. They're gross. Yeah. 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 Well, I know that last time I was in Silver City, we ate at a little dive there, and it was some of the best Mexican food I've ever eaten in my life. Very disappointed oh, yeah. the next day that they weren't open for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go try a, a chili riano or something. So, to me, uh, Mexican food is is uh, that's my basic food, and then everything else uh -huh. is, is you know specialty food. So, I totally understand. Totally. All right. Well, on that savory note, I'll let everybody go and have a great uh, week, and see you next uh, Wednesday, folks. Bye, Thanks. guys. All right. Bye. Bye.